We meet a lot of people over the course of our lives, and not all of them mean well. A lot of them are only looking out for themselves. They will use any means necessary to achieve their goals. It's usually easy to spot when someone is only trying to get close to us for their own benefit. Fake people always have some sort of agenda or angle. This makes them a little bit stressed, so they always seem like they're in a hurry. If someone has to see their plan through no matter the cost, it doesn't leave them with much room for considering societal norms and customs. That's why when we meet new people, a certain amount of caution is always a good idea. In today's video, we will show you 10 ideas that will help you to spot whether someone is genuinely interested in you or if they're just angling after something specific. We can tell you one thing. Whatever it is that they want, it won't be in your best interests. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Psychology in Mind, and activate the little bell for plenty more videos every day. Number one, are they steady or do they change with the winds? True friends and people of character rarely easily change their attitudes, whether it's about politics, social subjects, or religion. True strength is being receptive to other options, but not necessarily having to agree with it right away. The fakers among us, on the other hand, are full-time opportunists. They use every chance they get to bring them one step closer to their goal. One day, they're a strict vegan. The next, they're conversing over a steak if it suits their current purposes. They move and change opinions here and there like chess pieces across a board, adapting their principles to their changing surroundings. These kinds of people who only support the winning team should always be treated with caution. People who don't know who they are or who they want to be will do anything to copy other people's lives and take on their roles. Number two, sympathy. Do they have it or not? Fake people have no real interest in you. That's why it doesn't matter to them whether you're doing well or not. They rarely feel sympathy. At best, they can do a very poor impression of it. True friends, on the other hand, take an interest in your life and how it's going. They're interested in all the highs and lows of your day to day. Number three, what interests are at the forefront of their minds? The answer to this question is quite simple. Their own interests are the only ones that matter to them. Fake people always have a specific reason for seeking contact with you. This is especially true if you're not rich or famous. It's usually these kinds of circles that they swarm to like moths to a flame. So if you notice that someone is trying to get close to you without really having anything in common with you, be cautious. Maybe it's something you can do for them professionally, perhaps share a few free tips or expertise, or help them in some other way. Fake people will always be thinking of ways to pull your strings. Number four, things aren't what they seem. Fake banknotes and fake people appear again and again. They know how to keep up the beautiful facade of their fake life. Sometimes they do well, sometimes less so. You should watch out for when their words are never backed up by actions, when they can't keep to their commitments, and when they constantly get tangled up in contradictions. Those who have to fake their lives have their hands full with keeping the intricately weaved web of lies from falling to pieces. Go ahead and ask them a few detailed questions about their carelessly made offhand statements you'll soon notice how they have trouble following the thread of a logical argument. Number five, you either take responsibility or you don't. Real people take responsibility. They don't just do this for show or for their own interests, but because life just demands it from them. They're there for their family and friends, and they go out of their way to fulfill that role to the best of their ability the way fate intended. Fake people, on the other hand, see life as a series of loopholes, and they will gladly take any shortcut that makes life easier for them. They are not afraid to pass the buck onto other people and offload all their responsibilities onto someone else's shoulders. 
They wiggle and worm their way out of their obligations and commitments, and that way, no one can hold them accountable for it, whatever it was. Number six, personal gain takes priority. Even the ancient Romans used to ask themselves this in unclear situations. Who will benefit from this? This is what we should ask ourselves when we're around new acquaintances, since they often only know of one benefit, namely their own. Altruistic ways of thinking and behaving are completely foreign to fake people, whereas real friends absolutely love to see others succeed. Fake friends simply can't stand other people's success. They begrudge them it, making snide remarks and doing their best to belittle the achievement. Number seven, breaking promises. This is where the fool me once, fool me twice rules should come into play. A broken promise is not only likened to a criminal offense in contemporary music, but it's also actually like breaking down a barrier so that it's much easier to do it again. If someone is unreliable, you should let them go. Number eight, they live for gossip. An unquenchable thirst for gossip and nasty rumors is a clear sign of someone who's up to no good. A classic from George Harrison in the 1980s portrayed gossip as the devil's radio, and for good reason. It was quite obvious what this is referring to. Anyone who can enjoy the suffering or misfortune of others is always trying to use that to their own advantage to look better in comparison. Good people, on the other hand, behave like the saying goes, live and let live. Number nine, honesty won't be appreciated. Fake people live for the thrill of not being caught. If someone tells them honestly how things are, that jeopardizes their cover. They would never ask others for their opinion or feedback. People who go through life choosing to be honest and true would be grateful for the odd bit of constructive criticism. They don't see it as a bad thing, but as something helpful, a free opportunity to improve their performance. Number 10, they're constantly seeking validation. Fake people do things for the sake of being able to tell others about their successes. They rarely act in secrecy. They need an audience to applaud their every move. They make sure that without a doubt, people will know about the very few good things they've somehow managed to do. Genuine, authentic people, on the other hand, act on their best judgment and to the best of their knowledge. They answer to no one but their own personal understanding of what is moral and decent. Today's conclusion, it's actions, not words, that show the truth. The quickest and easiest way to tell genuine people from fake people is to take a look at what they've done. If someone has only thrown around empty words and showered you with promises that they've never really kept, then at best, they're a bit shady. But at worst, they're a manipulative person on the lookout for new victims. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Did you find this information helpful? Do you have experience with it? We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. For more resources about mental health, self-improvement, and psychology, visit our website. You'll find the link in the video description where you can also connect with us on social media and sign up for our email list. Take care of yourself and have a beautiful day.